welcome to welcome back to my channel I'm almost finished cleaning up my apartment if you didn't watch my previous video then maybe you don't know that I'm moving but yeah this is my apartment almost all cleaned out so I'm gonna show you some of the books that oh that's a lot of white light <laughs> and background but yeah almost all cleaned out and so I'm gonna show you some of the books that I'm gonna be taking to the Goodwill to donate these are not books that I'm gonna be selling their books that I got to do publisher reviews and some of them are just not books that I'm gonna be reading anymore I'm not gonna be trying to sell these books I'm just gonna be leaving them at the Goodwill or maybe in a little free library and maybe someone will find something here that they want to read so a lot of these are books that I got from the publisher I read them I reviewed them and they're not books that I really need to keep so here we go this is Exposure to a Billionaire by Anne Menke I'm leaving this because I already have a hardcover copy, A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hosseini. This is President's Day by Seth Margoli. I was waiting for Amy Rivers to come out with book three. This is Best Laid Plans and Other Disasters and Wallflower Blooming, both by the same author. They're kind of a series and I liked it, but I haven't gotten a new book from her in a while, and so it's time to just kind of leave that behind. Then I have Carla Negra's Thief Mark, which is a part of a series, but I didn't necessarily love that series. Even though I like this book, I don't think I'd be continuing on with that series. Then I have Good Little Byron's The Wraith. This is an indie author that I met um, at a book fair, I think last year or the year before. I think he's not really writing much anymore. He's focusing on his art. He decorated, he designed the cover for this and he's a really great artist. You can check him out on Instagram. I have 100 Days by Nicole McKinney. This is an arc. Yeah, this is an arc. Um, I didn't mind the book, but I just didn't know what to do with the arc when I was done. Maybe I should keep it though, it's signed. But it is an arc, I don't know. This is A Piece of Sky, A Grain of Rice by Christine Hale. I read that one, I reviewed it on my blog. I never read this. This is Mrs. Vladimir Nabokov, Vera by Stacey Schiff. But I've had this book for years and I don't think I'm gonna read it. I read and reviewed this one, Remember My Beauties by Lynn Hugo. I think I liked it. I remember something about a woman, an older woman, trying to get tattoos and so on so she could connect with her teenage or younger daughter. And I didn't necessarily like that. But We Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris. Read, loved, but this copy is really battered. I think I got it from someone when I moved here. So time to move it on to someone else too. Susan Wiggs Family Tree was a pretty good read. I read this one earlier this year. Uh, maybe I'll hold on to this one. It is a really good copy. Um, anyway, no, I'm not saving anything here. You Don't Look Adopted by Anne Heffron. This was a memoir about her dealing with her adoption and the fact that her adopted mother gave her up and her searching for something that she can't ever find because it doesn't matter whether you find your adopted parents or not. You just It's just never what you want it to be. And then Surrender My Heart by LG O'Connor. I read this one earlier this year as well. This was a pretty good read. I, I read and reviewed it. I'm not gonna read it again. See, here's a note that I have in here. This is a really distasteful way to talk about an ex. John lost major points here. Yeah, I remember the main characters are mature people and the way they talked about their previous relationships rubbed me the wrong way. So let's take these notes out so I don't influence the next person who reads this book. I also have some mass market paperbacks that I'm not going to be reading anymore. Um, I have Dale Brown's Dreamland, The Street Lawyer by John Grisham, John Sanford's Mind Prey, John Grisham's The King of Torts, uh, The Runaway Jewelry, but also by John Grisham, and then I have this American Book of New American Short Stories, and then I have Serial Killers Up Close and Personal. This was from my friend. He had asked me to donate it a long time ago, and I didn't because I thought I was going to give it back to him, but he doesn't want to read it again. So. Yeah, all of these are going to the Goodwill. Um, also have I Want My Epidural Back by Karen Alpert. I found this, I think, in a free library someplace. And I didn't read it. I don't think I'm going to read it, so I could pass it on to someone else. Also have two copies of The Pact. I had three copies. I'm saving one, and I'm passing on the other two. And I have a couple of 
couple of other books over here. Um, this paperback, this mass market paperback edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I have all the other books in different editions, so I'm gonna leave this one behind. And this one's the first Jane Austen that I bought. So I'm gonna give this one away and try to get Pride and Prejudice in the other editions so it matches the other books. Um, this is a free book that I got from one of the Mormon groups. Sarah Destin Saint Anything. This is a book that I got at the Goodwill maybe a couple of years ago and I never read it, never even wanted to read it. So turning it in to someone else. Autumn in Oxford, I got this from the publisher to review and I reviewed it and I'm not gonna reread it. So I can give that one up. Locally Laid, this is by Lucy Amundsen, How We Built a Plucky Industry Changing Egg Farm from Scratch. Not necessarily my kind of book. Then I have these English books, uh, Poetry, Fields of Reading, and Motives for Writing. Um, I kind of want to keep this one, but I feel like everything that's in here, I could probably, oh yeah, those are my glasses. I feel like I could get this from other books. I don't know, I'll hold off on that one. But in any case, I also have The Saturday Wife by Naomi Reagan. This is a book that I got from, I think from Goodwill. I haven't read any of these. I'm not really connected to most of these books. They're just things that I've had on my shelves for a really long time and never felt the need to purge them because I wasn't really going through my book collection actively on a regular basis. But now that I'm starting a brand new reading collection, it's time to just do away with things that didn't serve me well and start brand new. So this is my impromptu book on haul because I'm moving and stay tuned for another video where I'll show you my brand new digs, my brand new place. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Happy reading. Subscribe if you haven't already because I don't know when the next video is gonna be. I'm pretty sporadic on here, but I post every now and then and you're gonna wanna see my next video because I think it's gonna be exciting. Thanks for watching. Happy reading. Bye.